guys, it's Rabbit, and I just wanted to make a really quick video for you guys because I've been asked about how I dry my makeup and nail brushes, so I thought that making an actual video response would be a little bit clearer than trying to type out a weird explanation of what I do. So I guess as a really quick nail and makeup brush 101, most of you are probably aware that after you uh, wash your brushes, a really good way to actually extend their longevity is to make sure that you're drying them in the proper way because if you just let them dry like this in this position after you know this is completely soaking wet, you're going to have water that drips down into this spot and then you're going to find that the water is going to loosen the glue that's holding the hairs or the fibers in place so your brushes are not going to last nearly as long. So some people like to dry it on the side because that's, you know, simpler after you wash it you can just set it down and leave it. But when you dry it in this position as well, the water that's on this kind of top part, because as you can see it makes a little arc, will drip down and it will still get into this little base portion which will also loosen the fiber. So neither of those positions are going to work. The ideal position to dry your brushes in is upside down like this. So I know this isn't like a really, really big deal and this will only take like just a second to show you guys, but I know when I was first trying to figure out how to dry my brushes in the appropriate way, which is upside down, I had a hell of a time trying to figure out how to actually do that without like punching holes in foam board or buying something to prop them up. So what I did, and this is really all you're going to need, or you might also need a hanger. I will show you both methods here in just a second, but the primary thing Thing that I do is I just take a little hair clasp or a hair clippy. You can find these almost anywhere. I think I got this, uh, I got this in a pack of four for a dollar at Big Lots, I want to say. But you can find these at Walmart, you can find them at Target, any dollar store, and they come in a myriad of sizes, so that should definitely not be an issue. So with whatever size or shape that you have of these little hair clasps, what you want to do, and you will be able to see in the picture that I'm gonna put up, is you just want to take your brushes, however many that you need to dry. Um, obviously, you don't wanna overstuff these, but if you don't have enough brushes clasped in the little clip, clippy, um, you're gonna find that your brushes are gonna keep sliding through. So you will need to find the magic number for whatever size clasp you have and whatever you are clipping this to. But as you can see in the picture, what I have done is clasped a few brushes to a nice little decorative um, hand towel holder. And this was just already in the bathroom of my apartment. So like I didn't install this or anything, this was already there and nice and handy. And I recognize that not everyone may have a fixture quite like this in their bathroom for displaying their hand towels or whatever you wanna put in that little ring. So the alternative method, if you don't have something like this, is to use a hanger. And again, I will show you guys a picture of what I'm talking about. And as you can see from this image, basically what I'm doing is the same principle. And I'm just taking a clippy or a hair clasp, and I am clasping the brushes again in that bundled format, but they're actually clinging to a hanger, which I have just hanging in my bathroom over my bathtub. So you can do it in either of those methods. I think it's really simple. Um, it's really quick, and I don't think this really needs any more explanation, so yeah. For anyone who has asked me about that, I just wanted to make this video response for you. So hopefully this is helpful and it's given you guys a really good idea, or two I guess, of how you can dry your brushes upside down without having to buy anything or do anything too crazy. Alright guys, well that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope to hear from you guys. Talk to you later. Bye!